Hey everyone, so adjective clauses are really exciting and fun to learn about, but reducing them is even more exciting. Reducing an adjective clause makes you sound more fluent, more confident, and it makes you speak your idea and write your idea much quicker, okay? So I highly recommend that you use these strategies when you're talking and when you're writing. If you want to review what an adjective clause is, we have two videos on those. You can watch them. Uh, adjective clauses with subject pronouns and adjective clauses with object pronouns. This video will show you how to make them shorter, okay? So let me write some examples, okay? Here's one. Uh, we want to say uh, the woman right? Uh, that, that is learning English lives, yeah, lives near me, for example, okay? Well, where's the adjective clause in this sentence? The adjective clause is the clause, right? The subject and verb inside of a clause. Well, it has a subject and verb and it's acting like an adjective. It's describing a noun. So where is that? Right here, okay? All of this, okay? It's describing the woman. What kind of woman? The woman that's learning English, that's the kind of woman. That's an adjective clause. Adjective clauses, remember, usually start with the words that, who, whom, whose, okay? Which, when, where, okay? Uh, the woman that is learning English lives near me. Let's reduce this, let's make it shorter. I would not say this sentence. I would say the woman, the woman, uh, learning English lives next to me. Okay, so how did I reduce that? First, you look to see if it is a an adjective clause that has the relative pronoun, the pronoun, as the subject or as the object. In this case, this is the subject of this clause. So when it is the subject, and an easy trick to tell if it's the subject is look after it. Is there a verb after it? Yeah, that's a verb. That means that's the subject, okay? Subject verb. So if there is a subject in the uh, adjective clause and that is the pronoun of that adjective clause, you can take it out, okay? Also, look here. When you see the be verb, this is the be verb, you can take it out. So now we have the woman learning English lives near me. This is a reduced adjective clause, okay? Let's look at some more examples. Here's another example. The story which is available online is good. Okay, all right. So the adjective clause is here. This is the part that's describing the story. What kind of story? The one which is available online, that one, okay? So again, do we have the subject pronoun, the pronoun, the relative clause pronoun, is that the subject or the object? Let's see. Look after it is a verb. So before it is a subject. Yes, this is a subject. We can take this out, okay? And do you have the be verb here? Yes, we do. You can take that out too. Now I can say the story available online is good. That works. The story available online is good. That's it, okay? Let's look at another example. Okay, here's another example. Let's look at this one. My friend whose dog bites people moved. Where's the adjective clause? The adjective clause is here. Always starts with a relative clause pronoun, right? Who, that, whose, which, right? Whose. 
My friend whose dog bites people moved. My friend moved. Okay. Can I reduce this one? No, you can't reduce this one. Why? When you see the word whose, never reduce. Never. Can't reduce it. Okay, so here's another example of one that we can reduce. Uh, the video that talks about adjectives helped me a lot. Um, where's the adjective clause? Remember, we're looking for the relative pronoun that, which, who, whom, whose, when, where. Okay, the video that talks about adjectives helped me a lot. Let's reduce this. First off, look at the relative pronoun. Is that the subject or the object? There's the verb, therefore this is the subject. When it is the subject, you can take it out, but you cannot just leave it like this. You have to look to see if there is a be verb. Is there a be verb here? No. In that case, do not leave it like that. Now you have to change this verb to have an ing ending. The video talking about adjectives helped me a lot. This is okay. This is how you can reduce an adjective clause that has the subject as the pronoun and no be verb. Okay, here's another example of one that has, uh, is similar to the example we just saw. Uh, here is another one. <laughs> The students who sit in the class are active. Okay, um, well, first, let's see. Do we have an adjective clause? Yes, we do. There it is. Now look at the pronoun. Is that the subject or the object? Look at this. Is that a verb? Yes, it is. Therefore, this is the subject. And when it is the subject, you can take it out, but you must, 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 change the verb. First, is the verb a be verb? No, it's not. So now we have to change this verb by adding ing, right? So the students sitting in the class are active. Perfect. This is a beautiful reduced adjective clause. Don't forget, you take out that pronoun if it's the subject, but you must, 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 must change this verb to ing. Unless there's a be verb in it, and then you just remove the be verb. Okay, we talked a lot about reducing adjective clauses that have um, a relative pronoun as the subject, the subject relative pronoun. Now, let's talk about reducing adjective clauses that have an object relative pronoun. Those ones are actually much more exciting and fun. Let's find the adjective clause. The video that I found online. Which video? The video that I found online, that one. There's the adjective clause. Look at the pronoun. Is it the subject pronoun? How do we do that? Look after it. Is there a verb? Nope, there's a, actually a subject after this one. So therefore, this is the subject, this is the verb, this is the object. And if you want to learn more about how to identify that, please watch our video on adjective clauses with object pronouns, okay? Um, but we can identify this is the subject, right, of the adjective clause, here's the verb. So this thing is the object, okay? This is the object. So when you have the relative pronoun in the adjective clause as the object, it's beautiful. Boom, boom, just take it out, just take it out. The video I found online helped me a lot. There you go, okay? There's actually a way to do this from very, very formal to less formal, okay? So I'll show you with the next example. Here we have an example of another adjective clause that has an object pronoun. Let's find it. The question that you asked. Okay, here's the adjective clause. Look at the pronoun. Is that the subject? No, here's the subject. And here's the verb. 
So therefore, this is the object, okay? Now remember, the rule is, if it's the object uh, pronoun, just throw it out. But I wanna show you how to make this um, go from very formal to less formal, okay? So if you wanna be very formal, remember, for a question, we can use the word that or which. Those are the words that describe things like questions. So let me put the word which here instead. This is the most formal, okay? The question which you asked was hard to answer. Now I can reduce that and make it less formal by doing this and switching this pronoun to the word that. So the question that you asked was hard to answer. That's actually a, a reduction and it makes it a little bit less formal. We can make it even less formal by putting nothing. That means removing that pronoun completely and just saying the question you asked was hard to answer. That's totally and completely fine, especially when you're talking. Okay, so it goes from more formal to less formal. Let's look at that with prepositions. Actually, let's look at that. Let's look at that with a person first. Right. Here is another example of an adjective clause that we want to reduce that has an object um, as the pronoun. The tutor whom I called on the phone is on campus, okay? So look at the pronoun here. Is it the subject or is it the object? Well, this is actually the subject and this is the verb. So technically and therefore, that's the object, okay? Now, whom is a very formal word. I have never used that word talking ever, okay? Um, but in writing, it makes you sound uh, in control of what you're, you're doing, so okay, for writing. Um, the tutor whom I called is on campus. Now, we can reduce this by making it less formal. So I can say the tutor who I called, who I called is on campus. That makes it less formal, that's fine. Or I can say the tutor that I called is on campus. The tutor that I called is on campus because we can use the word that for people. Um, I could even just completely take out that pronoun altogether and say, the tutor I called is on campus. The tutor I called is on campus. I'm waiting for her, right? Take it out completely, okay? But that's only possible when that pronoun of the adjective clause is the object, okay? If it's the subject, remember, you have to make sure the verb after it has ing, or if it's a be verb, just take it out, okay? Now let's look at one more exciting reduction of adjective clauses that involves your favorite thing in the world, prepositions. I'm just kidding, right? Prepositions are the worst. Here we go, this is a lot, okay? But it's really cool to learn this, I think. The tutor whom I work with is very nice. Now this is so, 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 so formal. I do not talk like this. I do not know anyone who talks like this, okay? Um, but you can write like this. It's great to write like this in an academic setting, okay? So the tutor whom I work with is very nice. Here's the adjective clause. It's describing the tutor, okay? Here's the pronoun, okay? And it is the object pronoun. How do we know that? Because this right here is the subject and here's the verb, okay? So this is the object, all right? Now, the tutor whom I work with, look at that. There's a preposition that goes along with this clause. It's part of it, okay? Now, one way to make this ultra formal is when we have this preposition, we actually will move it to make it more formal. So I can say the tutor with whom I work, okay? So now what I've done is I've moved this preposition all the way to the front of the adjective clause. Now I sound uber, 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 super, super formal. The tutor with whom I work is very nice. 
So to tone that down, I would say the tutor whom I work with is very nice, but that's still very formal. Both of these ways are completely fine. Preposition can go with the object or on the end of the clause. Now let's make that less formal. The tutor who I work with is very nice. Or the tutor that I work with is very nice. Or the tutor, no pronoun, I work with is very nice. The tutor I work with is very nice. So here is a nice breakdown of how to reduce an adjective clause that has the preposition, which by the way, many, many adjective clauses with objects as the pronoun have prepositions in them. Okay. So when you're writing in an academic setting, you want to sound more formal, go ahead and move the preposition before the pronoun. But if you are talking and you want to sound less formal, uh, take out the pronoun completely and leave the preposition at the end. I don't care what anybody says if that's not grammatical or whatever. Uh, this is how we talk, okay? And there's nothing wrong with that structure. Um, okay, uh, so that's it. There's plenty of examples of this online you can find, but I hope that helps. And thank you for watching this long video. Bye-bye. Did you ever know that adjective clauses can be so much fun? I did.